So tell me about the way that heating meals in the field has changed. Yeah. So currently in the MRE, we have what's called a flameless ration heater. And it's been in the field since about 1995. And it contains a magnesium iron heater that when uh, water is added to it, creates a chemical reaction. Basically heats up your food in about 10 minutes, depending on what the conditions are outside. It's been a really effective, really inexpensive, efficient way to heat food. More recently, we've developed an air activated heater. So to help soldiers conserve their water and not have to use water on heating their food, we've developed a heater that actually reacts with the air to heat up their food. So you're gonna heat your meal yes. with the old heater and I'm gonna heat this meal with the current heater and we're gonna see the difference. Sure. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, on your mark, get set, go. So I'm gonna undo this here. And I put this on the one side and I flip this over, take the adhesive off. And I put this on the other side. And you put water into yours and it's already started. Okay, it's already started. So I'm gonna take the top off of this. I'm gonna take the top off of this. Oh boy. Okay, we'll just ignore that. Yeah. So right now, both of them are heating up the food. Right. This is the old one, it uses water. Mm -hmm. And this is the new one that does not use water. Right. Oh, this one I can already feel yeah. getting hot. Right. You should be able to actually touch it. Like most of the energy is yep. actually going into the food rather than out into the environment. It's hot, I mean, it, it's, it's definitely over 80 degrees, but I don't feel as though I'm burning my hand. Right. This one, though, is not if, yet if, hot. If, oh, it it's weren't, a hot on the if it weren't for this sleeve, you wouldn't be able to even touch it. Is this new heater safer? The new heater is much safer. One of the byproducts of this chemical reaction is a little bit of hydrogen gas. So you currently can't use them on board a submarine or in an aircraft, any type of enclosed environment because hydrogen is very flammable. And you can see the smoke coming out right now. Right. So that's primarily steam and hydrogen. With this, there's actually no byproduct of the reaction into the environment. So you could use this in a submarine, in an aircraft. There's no steam at all coming out of this right. one. And so this is safer, this is lighter. Right. and better when you're in, in the field. Exactly.